The Inside Infinite update for May might just be the last one for all of us to enjoy. Why is that? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here and today we're going to be talking about the next upcoming Inside Infinite update and how this one actually might be the last one we get to enjoy because June next month is going to be quite a huge month for Halo Infinite and just the Halo franchise as a whole. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, want we'll to update with everything going on with Halo, well make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So what is this May update for the Insight Infinite going to look like? Well, it's actually going to focus a lot on the Waypoint team, as we did have a tweet from Unichike, who's the community manager at 343, tweeted this out in a response saying, question, will there be an Insight Infinite this month? The response is, it will focus on the Waypoint team and how they're supporting Halo Infinite. The game team is prepping for larger beats than blogs. So we're mixing it up and holding on S343s for the time being. You got some great PC questions and we'll circle back when it works best for the team. Because if you remember, we have not had an S343 about the PC inside Infinite and that's because it sounds like the team's really all hands on deck trying to make sure that the game is set up for its second big reveal at E3 this year in June, which I believe is June 12th is when the selected date is. And as we do every E3, I will be doing a live stream with you guys doing a watch party. So make sure you follow the Twitch channel, link in the description down below. We do play every Tuesday and Thursday night on that channel as well, streaming some Halo. If you guys want to jump in and play some games, that's the best time to do it. So then you're probably thinking, okay, well, that sounds kind of boring. It's not directly tied to the game. So why does it even matter? Well, it's actually quite a big thing for how Waypoint will upgrade itself for Halo Infinite because the Halo Waypoint website certainly made some big leaps forward in integration with the game with Halo 5, with being able to download maps straight from the website onto your profile, land support on there as well, as well as being able to check out your service record and all that great stuff and all the news that you need to know about Halo, pretty much everything about Halo, you can check up on Halo Waypoint. But anything directly game related, you can't really do besides the downloading games and maps. Well, I think we're going to see something a lot more when it comes to Waypoint's integration. And this was teased in the April development update about PC. So this quote from one of the team members of 343 stated saying, the Halo Waypoint team has been hard at work on the next generation of Halo's applications and website coming soon. This is a complete rebuild of our tech stack to deliver a richer experience for you and improved tool set for the studio. Halo Waypoint will be available as a native iOS and Android app in addition to the website replacing the existing Halo channel app. Most recently, the team has been focused on Halo Infinite features such as customization and progression and navigating the challenges associated with translating those features to web and pocket-sized devices. We plan to share more in the future, so I'll leave with this parting wisdom, prepare your hardware accelerators. So it looks like 343 is rebuilding Waypoint from the ground up, including a rather extensive app as well, because I remember the Halo Channel app basically being useless just like the Halo Channel website where it really didn't work at all and if it did work it wasn't really anything that you need to know about or integrate with the game super well. Interesting thing talking about Halo Infinite though they mentioned customization and progression. There is going to be a huge emphasis of customization for Halo Infinite and so customization be able to change it within an app or on the website is going to be huge for your managing all your different types of assets and progression as well as most likely there will be a battle pass as they mentioned seasons in a previous development updates and every game i know that has seasons has a battle pass so that would just make sense so we could get some really cool customization information and also about the progression system within halo infinite on this waypoint team update so it's not just about a website it could also be a factor of how it affects the game as well get some new information about not directly about the gameplay but all the stuff surrounding the gameplay when it comes to halo infinite one app that comes to my mind i know it does a really great job of integrating its gameplay elements in along with the phone app is actually the destiny 2 app and so we take a look at this app right here i'm looking on my phone recording this right here you can see your pursuits which is what every season what your pursuits are going to be the different kind of challenges 
challenges and stuff like that. You have your season, obviously, so you can check out your progression through the season right there, right? They mentioned progression within Halo Infinite. Uh, we can also check out your vendors. These are different items where you can check out like what the like what Zer is selling for right now. Obviously, it's not the weekend, so you can't check that. But like Lord Saladin for the Iron Banner, you can check out all the different type of bounties that they're giving out right there as well for just different challenges and things you can do within the game. Now, uh, great thing here actually, you can actually check out your different characters as well, your Warlock, Titan, and Hunter as well. Uh, so you can click on, or you can check out the bottom row here as well. You got the Guardian tab, which just takes you right to everything you need to know about your Guardian. So you can check out each character right there. Uh, you can also check out your Vault, so you can see all the different types of items you have in your Vault. I played a lot of Destiny 2 a while ago, <laughs> so you can see that everything's been automatically ranked up to uh, 1100 just because I haven't played in such a long time. You got your Postmaster, which is like extended inventory kind of thing. You got your Triumphs. Your, which are just different challenges like achievements and things like that your lore stat trackers and things like that a really cool thing also especially is your clan tracker as well clans are super important within destiny be able to communicate with all your friends and stuff like that within through the app as well it's gonna be super important uh, mainly because you can help coordinate like play times with your friends which well, honestly it's actually kind of a hardest thing to do when it comes to multiplayer gaming is that and then you also have your fire team set up which is actually just general lfg looking for games basically anyone who's like typing in like hey if anyone wants to play this type of game mode hit me up and then we can join in together so we we'll say right here this nightfall which is like a more difficult version of their typical gameplay or farming this on xbox i can click on this i can send them an invite right here or just join in off of them this party became full but i can kind of scroll down to say like oh how about this guy right here suck my giant peen zaddy sure i'll join your fire team right here you know uh, so i can just join them from the app and it puts me in the game like it's super useful it's a great tool i would love to see this happen for halo as well a really cool thing in this app you can actually see a 3d image of your guardian if i click on my warlock which is my main character on the lower right there's a 3d button you click on that and then boom you can check out your character right there on the phone app and you can kind of rotate them around and see how they look with customization being a huge emphasis within Halo Infinite, I would highly suspect to see something like that happen because you can also manage your different items that you have for your character as well, even like your armor sets as well. Like if I wanted to change my gauntlets right here for my hands, I can click on that It can go through my inventory but that I have right there available and just kind of set that on and put that on my character right then and there without having to go through the game at all. So you can see the potential that the Waypoint app has for Halo Infinite. Now another really great feature within Halo Waypoint was the ability to manage your different rec cards that you got within Warzone. This, I could totally see the same feature happening for Halo Infinite as well, so especially for like weapon coatings especially. If you check this out right here, for example, you can see I can just kind of scroll through here. I'm like, oh look, I have an open hand right here. I can click on this right here, and then I could sell that card yeah, and get some more rec points out of the whole situation. Super great. Obviously, the issue was that you can only sell one at a time with an app. There was a uh, extension that was created, which I did make a video on, which allowed you to sell multiple uh, rec cards at once, which is super useful because trying to sell these one at a time is a total pain in game. So this was actually one of the benefits of Halo Waypoint. And they also had the rec store. If you wanted to buy rec packs through the website, you definitely could do that. I'm assuming the same thing with Halo Waypoint as well when it comes to codings, and I'm sure that's gonna be probably the main source of income for Halo Infinite moving forward. Probably a little bit maybe also with like different kind of whatever ideas they can come up with, with and microtransactions within Halo Infinite. As the multiplayer is gonna be free to play, I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of different kinds of uh, segmentations when it comes to Halo's customization, just so they can sell more microtransactions, but with the game being free to play, that's kind of like a given, you know? So we know this about Halo Waypoint and examples of what we could see for the app version of Halo Waypoint, but why would this be the last Inside Infinite? Well, that's mainly because with E3 coming around, we're going to have a huge reveal of the game, right? We're going to know a huge info drop. We're going to do a ton of videos on that topic as well, guys. And I have a feeling we'll have other questions besides exactly uh, what FOVs you can have in Halo Infinite after the gameplay reveal that we'll have for E3. And remember with the December update, they did mention about flighting later this year. So I'm sure we'll have some questions when it comes to public flights as well. But after E3, the news and information stream that we get is going to completely change with Halo Infinite. And we're going to stay up to date with all that on this channel, guys. So 
want to stay up to date with Halo, make sure you subscribe. So with the Inside Infinite Waypoint Team update, I know it might sound kind of boring mainly talking about the website, but they're probably going to be revealing the app and what the app can really do, which probably also gives give us some more insight when it comes to the systems within Halo Infinite to understand what we're getting ourselves into with this game because we barely know much about the gameplay. We hardly know little to nothing of everything around the game, all the different systems. Like, I know there's challenges and there's challenge slots, but that's all anything that's really been confirmed and also that there's going to be seasons. So this update will give us great insight of what to expect from Halo Infinite as well as how your experience outside of the game is going to be. A well-tuned app is really going to help out your gameplay experience with Halo Infinite. So if you like these news and informational videos or if you missed any content from me recently or been out of the loop for Halo or something like that, well make sure you check out, check out the video. So if you guys like these news and informational videos and been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so or new to the channel, check out the videos on the screen right over here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos and been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.